What's going on you guys, Steven from Airsoft Tech and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new unboxing video. So before we get into this zone, there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, I need to talk about something really serious. I don't know how serious it really is, but it's important. And no, I'm not going to be talking for all that long, so don't worry. So this video actually wasn't supposed to come out until later this week because I was supposed to upload some damn gameplay for you guys. If you guys saw my last video, which was the loadout video, I said I'm going to show you guys the loadout. I'm doing a loadout video, so you guys are seeing this first, and then I'll show you guys some gameplay. However, obviously this isn't some gameplay. So I don't know what the hell happened you guys. I was literally looking for hours and hours. I'm not even lying to you guys. I'm actually being serious. I was looking for hours straight until I finally gave up. I lost one of the SD cards that I used to get the gameplay footage. I have the micro SD card that was used in the zoom cam. However, I don't know what the hell happened to the SD card, the micro SD card, whatever that was used for my GoPro. And the thing that really frustrates me is that I had it literally two days ago, then my room was cleaned, and then only one of the SD cards was on my desk and not the second one, and they were side by side when I was last, you know, looking at the footage, going through it and whatnot. And, you know, I should have transferred all the files over right away, right when I got home that Sunday, but I never, I've never lost an SD card, so I never thought, oh, you know, I don't have to worry about transferring it right away. The only thing I'm ever scared about is if the files get corrupted when they are transferred onto my computer. I've never lost an SD card, so now I'm out 20 to $30. I don't have the GoPro footage for you guys, and I'm just really upset. So guys, I am so sorry. I, it, this will never happen again. It's never happened, and I can promise you guys it will never happen again. However, what I can do for you guys, and please let me know if you guys want to see this, is I can take the Zoom footage that I have um, and just, you know, splice all the clips together that, you know, where I actually got kills. It would probably be like a really short video. I don't know how entertaining I can make it, but I can at least just, you know, wherever the footage is where I actually got kills, I could go ahead and just put everything together and, uh, I don't know what the hell this was, uh, but I could put everything together and, you know, it could, it's just, I don't know you guys, I, you guys know what I mean. There's just so much potential with that day. And now I don't have any of it. Anyways though, regardless of all that, I just wanted to update you guys what's been going on and why there's no gameplay footage for you guys. However, I'm going back this Sunday uh, to Striker Airsoft and I'm going to be doing something pretty fun with Dutch that you guys should know about. Uh, and I will promise you guys I will not lose that footage. I promise you. So yeah, let me know about that idea with just the zoom footage now. Let's go ahead and get into this big boy right here. Alright, so getting into the unboxing now. Obviously, I have a pretty big table out here. It's kind of high, so I'm sorry if this is like a weird angle. However, I can't put it on the ground because it's completely soaked and the grass is just all muddy and wet too because it was raining really hard last night. Uh, but anyways, okay. Let's go get into this. This was sent over by Classic Army themselves. So the two guys I've been talking to, I'm not sure if you want me to state your names. Uh, I'm not going to just to be safe. Uh, but thank you. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Obviously, I know what is in here and I am so excited to go ahead and get my hands on these things. And the cool thing is that there's not too many videos on what's in here. So hopefully I can pump these videos up fast enough. And the 805 brand, you guys, I have already filmed the review and the shooting test for that gun. So all I have to do is edit that and I'll upload that shortly as well. So I have a lot of videos coming out to you guys in a very short amount of time. All right, so I probably like fast forwarded all of that or like made it or I sped it up or something like that. There were so many interruptions. Um, it just, it was so annoying. I had to keep stopping. But anyway, so this is what was in the past. Package. I got two classic army guns here, and uh, I'm not sure which one I really want to go with first. I think I'm going to go with the cheaper gun first, and then we'll get into the more expensive one. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, you guys, here we go. Box number one. Remember, this is the cheaper gun out of the two. And just to spoil it just a little bit as I'm opening the box, this is the skirmish line that classic army has. A skirmish line of M4s to be exact. Let me go and open this up. Just like so. Yep, that's it. All right, cool. And oh, it is backwards. Hold on, let me flip it. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and continue opening this up. And here is the manual, and boom, there is the gun. All right, so as I was saying, though, I put the manual over there, but as I was saying, this is their skirmish line of M4s. It's below $200, and to be exact, it's $165. So pretty fair price for a beginner's gun. And wow, this thing actually looks really thick, this material, this polymer. I didn't think it was going to be that nice. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed in just a little bit as well, just so you guys can get a closer look. But yeah, so here is the gun. It's in dark earth. You can get this in black as well. This is the Classic Army M4 EC2. 
to be exact. All right, but anyways, they included quite a bit of stuff, so let's get into this. So you get the gun itself. I think I see, yeah, there's a barrel cleaning slash and jamming rod underneath the gun. You get two rail covers here. I'll just show you guys this really quickly. So there are the two rail covers, just like so. And uh, so those, that's one accessory, and they also include a vertical foregrip, which I'll get to, so that's the second accessory. Then here, we have a little bag of uh, 500 Classic Army BBs, so not bad at all. You may want to use these. I'm not saying, I don't know if you want to use them usually you try and avoid BBs uh, that come with guns uh, but I think those are actually fine here we have a 300 round high capacity magazine in a kind of matte type of finish dark earth which is really nice there you go now my camera is focusing but yeah as I said it is a high cap wind it on the bottom trap door on the top just like so and this does hold 300 rounds but this color this color is beautiful anyways though so here we have a 9.6 volt battery I believe yeah 9.6 volt battery and they also include a standard wall charge let me go ahead and move all this stuff. Let me take this out of the wrap. Well, that's easy. Out of the wrapping. Here we go. Yeah, standard wall charger. Nothing special, as you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and throw this all away. I would definitely recommend, though, going ahead and getting a um, a smart charger. You don't really ever want to use wall chargers. And I would recommend... Oh, I'm not... Hold on. not going to talk about the battery. I'm going to wait till I talk about the internals and we'll get into that. Uh, but yeah, so we have all this. We have the gun, magazine, BBs, wall charger, battery, rail covers. Lastly, but not least, as I said... Here is the vertical foregrip, which is nice. So they include quite a bit of stuff, but before we get into the second gun, let me just show you guys this gun right here. Oh yeah, and here is the barrel cleaning slash and jamming rod. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys the gun. Oh man, this thing is heavy for being all polymer. This actually feels a lot better than I was anticipating. The polymer that they are using nowadays on today's guns or whatever is getting better and better. I must say, are these flip up sights too? Ooh, very nice. Okay, I'm kind of getting into the gun here. I kind of want to avoid doing that because we'll do that once uh, we go ahead and see what the other gun is. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the second gun just to see what it is, see what's in the box so you guys can get a quick look at it. Once we're done looking at the second gun though, I'm going to go ahead and come back to this gun. I'm going to have the accessories on, the magazine in, and I'm going to be standing in front of the camera just giving you guys a close-up of the gun, just talking about it really for a little bit, and then we'll do the same thing for the second gun. Anyways though, let's go ahead and move this, and let's get into gun number two. Boom, here we go. Gun number two, let's go ahead and open this up. How do I do this? Same thing, yep. These little tabs on the bottom, just like so. And do I pull it out? Yep. Go ahead, do this. Ooh. Ooh. So again, here is a manual, I believe. Yep, just the same thing that was in the other box. Go ahead, set that right there. Then they even include a little bag, which is really nice. Oh, is this a gun bag? Oh, it is a gun bag. Wow, a little gun sack. You know those little Evike uh, gun sacks or whatever that they include in their mystery boxes? So this is Classic Army's version. Ooh, I like this. This isn't like some nasty bright blue that Evike has. So very, very cool. Let me go ahead and set all this to the side though. As you guys can see, when you spend more money, you get nicer packaging. You actually get foam inserts now to hold the gun. Oh man, look at that. Oh my, this thing is not, what is this? Do they include an amplifier too? Oh, no way. All right, you guys, I'm just getting too excited here. This is the Classic Army VCW. This is the vehicle crew weapon, and they include a little stubby vertical foregrip. They include a magazine here. Oh, two magazines. Very nice, two high cap magazines, full metal as well, and kind of that, that what's it called, that matte type of finish again, which is really nice. They include an amplifier, and then they include the gun. They do not include a battery and a uh, wall charger. Obviously, because you're paying more, this is a much nicer gun. With any high quality guns, you're never gonna get a battery and charger. All right, let me see what this thing actually looks like. I saw, the, I saw this thing in pictures of the gun. However, I didn't know they actually include this. Wow, oh wow. This thing is nice, so I'm sure this should change the uh, the pitch, you know, the volume when the gun shoots. Obviously, it shouldn't do it that much, but amplifiers do change the sound just a little bit. So that is very cool. They include that. Let's go check out the vertical foregrip. This is actually kind of heavy, very sturdy, so very cool. My hands are a little too big for this, but I have pretty big, meaty hands. Uh, but that's just to fit the gun, you know, to fit the look of the gun because this is just a stubby little gun. Vehicle crew weapon, you need something to be compact. Uh, but anyways, let's go check out the magazines. Yeah, are these the same? Yeah, they are the same. Um, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at them though so you guys can get a close-up of it. Again, as I said before though, the matte finish on these mags 
are very nice. So yeah, this is the same mag as the tan one that was just in Dark Earth, that matte finished Dark Earth. So yeah, this is just the black version of it. I'm sure this is 300 rounds. However, they include two of them, which is really cool. And I like how they wrap the second one in plastic so they don't rub against each other and scratch each other. So that is very nice. All right, so I zoomed out just a little bit because I want to give you guys a close up. Now I'm going to take the gun out for the first time. Oh, wow. Oh, this is freezing because it's so cold outside. Is this full metal? Yeah, this is full metal. Very nice. Oh, much heavier. Oh, and we have the barrel cleaning slash and jamming rod stuck to the gun. All right, there we go. Oh, man, look at this thing. I can't get over how cold this thing is. But very nice quad rail system here, as you guys can see. Nice rails on the bottom on both sides, as well as a huge, really long rail segment here on the top, so you can go put whatever optic you want on it. Again, same uh, front and rear flip up iron sights, which are full metal, feels very nice. We have some little uh, trades right there again. Oh, it, I think it's the same, M4 carbine, and then we have like Cal or whatever, and then what does that say, 5.56? Yeah, 5.56 by 45 millimeters, and then serial number, and we have a little serial number right there, and then what's here, classic army, anything on the other side? Just giving you guys, oh yeah, right here, what's that? Restricted for military or law enforcement use only. Pretty cool, made in Hong Kong. And the motor grip, this thing is so comfy. It's not that standard, you know, typical, you know, really skinny uh, M4 style motor grip. This thing is definitely a lot more comfortable. Then we have just a retractable stock here, nothing, you know, too crazy. So here it is, you guys, the classic Army VCW. And really quickly, before we get back to the first gun, Fox Airsoft is holding a giveaway for this gun. Uh, so if you want a chance to win it completely free, I'll leave a link in the description. You go ahead and enter, it's free. Obviously, you don't pay anything. And no, you guys, I wanna clear something up. If you guys click that link, I do not get more referrals. I do not get more entries. I don't get you know better chances of winning the giveaway. Guys, I do not even enter the giveaways. I'm just letting you guys know about it because I want one of you guys to have a chance of winning a free gun because I wanna keep giving back to you guys. Well, technically, Fox wants to keep giving back to you guys, but I wanna keep informing you guys of these opportunities. Anyways though, with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to the first gun so here it is this is the first gun again this is the classic army ec2 and after holding that vcw which is full metal this actually doesn't feel that bad as i said the polymer is so freaking thick and just sturdy it feels like a tank and this is much heavier than i thought it was going to be all right anyways though let's just go ahead and give you guys a really nice close-up of the gun you get a full metal outer barrel plastic orange tip i went ahead and put the rail covers on they're not on all the way look they'll slide right off just wanted to give you guys a general idea though of what the gun could look like if you go ahead and put the accessories on uh here we have the uh, metal front flip up sight as well as the rear flip up sight just like so and remember if you want to go ahead and push them down you have to go ahead and push that button because this is locked in place you have to push that and you can go ahead and flip it down but for right now I'm gonna leave it up but anyways going back just to the close-up you have a really nice quad rail system here a lot of rail space on these guns so you can mount anything you want oh wait this is metal. Yeah, this little rail segment here on the bottom is full metal, so that's actually really unique. I don't know why they did that, but it's a nice little touch. Maybe if you're holding the gun without any accessories, you get that metally type of feel. I don't know. That's a pretty cool design, though. Anyways, moving down, we have the upper lower receiver, just like so. Uh, this is your dust cover. Let's go ahead and pull the charging handle back. Ooh, this is metal, too. Wow, I'm, I'm learning about this gun as I go, you guys. Go ahead, pull that back. There it reveals your uh, hop up just like so, so you can adjust it if you need more hop, less hop, whatever. Go ahead, let go. Makes a nice little clink sound. That's pretty cool. Go ahead, close that back up. And wait, I think this is metal too. Yeah, this is really cold. Yeah, this is metal. This is definitely metal. So there's more metal on here than I thought there was. Anyways, again, here is the high cap magazine inside the gun. Looks really nice. Here is a metal mag release. Is this metal? No, 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 okay. This is plastic. This is definitely plastic. Going down here, we have our full metal trigger. And is this metal too? Yeah, the trigger guard is metal as well. Okay, cool. And here we have our standard, just plastic, you know, M4 style motor grip here. Nothing too crazy. You can go ahead and adjust the motor height if you need to. And then getting back here, we have the stock of the gun. Just standard, you know, retractable LE stock, just like so. Nothing too crazy. So now let's go ahead and talk about the internals. All right, remember, this is supposed to be a beginner's gun. All right, so the externals, still really nice, very, very very solid for being all polymer, but the internals, get ready for this. So number one, it comes with a 363 millimeter tight bore inner barrel, 6.03 to be exact. So you get a tight bore right out of the box, then going back over here to the batteries, this thing is actually wired to Dean's. So if you have a Dean's battery, 
please go ahead and use that. However, if you don't have a Dean's battery or a Dean's wired battery, don't worry. They include a female Tamiya connector adapter. It's actually already pre-installed in the gun. So if you want to use Dean's, you have to go ahead and take the adapter off and then that will reveal the little Dean's connectors and you can go ahead and use your battery wired to Dean's. I just said that about a million times. I'm so sorry. Anyways though, again, 6.03 type in a barrel. You get a gun wired to Dean's right out of the box and then included in here is also a MOSFET. So you get a MOSFET right out of the box, which makes this thing completely lipo ready. So it's not like, yeah, beginner's gun, you can use a lipo, you might damage it right out of the box, you know, it's up to you. No, this thing is lipo ready for sure. So for $165, you get really nice externals. Well, no, I can't say really nice, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You get nice externals for being polymer. And as for internals, amazing. It's just, it's outstanding. And Again, I can't believe this is for a freaking beginner's gun. Sub $200 to be exact, $165. Anyways though, I think that is going to cover it for this gun. Remember, Classic Army EC2 or M4 EC2, whatever you want to call it. Very, very nice gun. I gotta say you guys, I am gaining more and more respect when it comes to polymer guns because, I don't know, they are just, they're changing the formula. I don't know what they're doing, but it is feeling better and better. All right, let's get back to the VCW though. So here it is, you guys. Look at this stubby little thing. So I went ahead, put on the little vertical foregrip here. Also, I did not go ahead and put on the little amplifier in the box because you need a wrench to go ahead and take this orange plastic tip off. I don't have that on me right now. Uh, but yeah, so here it is, you guys. Look at this thing. Absolutely stunning. I can't get over how nice this motor grip is. Very, very, very comfy. And then when you go ahead and release the charging handle to open up the dust cover to reveal the hop up, boom, little American flag right there, baby. Very nice. Anyway, go ahead, close that up just like so. Close that up, very nice. And now for the stock, it's just a standard, you know, retractable stock, just like the EC2, nothing too crazy. All right, so now internally, just like the EC2, this thing has a 6.03 tight bore inner barrel. Obviously, it's much shorter because it's a much smaller gun. Uh, it has a Dean's connectors, it's wired to Dean's, has the adapter for to me if you don't have a Dean's battery. Then it has the MOSFET, just like the EC2. And now with the gearbox, this actually has wire cut 21 to one ratio gears, and then a whole bunch of stainless steel parts uh, in the gearbox that I'm not even gonna get into. And last but not least, obviously, it's lipo ready. I think that's uh, kind of, uh, you know, you guys already know that. Uh, but yeah, so both guns lipo ready. Both come with already pre-upgraded internal parts and the MOSFET, man. You do not see that on too many beginner's guns. Um, but for this gun, I don't think I mentioned the price. This is actually $280. So the EC2, $165. This is $280. Do I look badass right now? Come on, be honest. I look pretty badass. Nah, I'm just playing. I hope my face isn't like super white. I think it is. Anyways, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing video. I cannot wait to get that Dean's battery from Amazon. It should be coming in tomorrow or Friday. I think Friday. Mm, I don't know. Uh, but regardless, it's coming this week. Can't wait to go ahead and test these out. Have not fired them, obviously. So stay tuned for the shooting tests and reviews of both these guns. And hopefully, I'll even be able to field them, get some gameplay footage for you guys, and not lose the SD card. But with all that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and smack. I can't do it. Smack that thumbs up button. Yeah, just smack it. You know, just hit it, whatever. Tap it, whatever you want to do. Just like the video. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to see any future content. Anyways, though, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.